G'day scrappers. Well, here we go. Bit of street, street scrapping for the for the week. Start. Uh, yeah, some modems. I think I'll take all that. Gosh. Electronic keyboard. <sighs> Whole bunch of kit right at the back. Not that I expect to get a whole heap, but uh, we'll just play it by ear and mostly looking for electronics today. I don't really want scrap steel. Um, I don't want to uh, scrap steel at the moment. It's really, you know, pretty low, and uh, I'm just way too far to load up with scrap steel. I'd rather have a. chance to um, find electricals and stuff because um, I can't do a second trip all the way here. Uh, yeah, it's uh, this is almost about as far as I go street scrapping, so um, way too far to yeah come back um, for a second load or anything. Yeah, I've only been here for two minutes, and there's scrappers everywhere. So I don't like my chances of getting a great deal, but there's a lot of printers here. Yeah, just all printers. Gosh. Someone must do a lot of printing. Yeah. Everyone's been anticipating this area for scrapping. So... So I don't... Yeah, like my chances of getting a whole heap of electronics or much, so we'll just see how we go, but definitely don't want scrap steel because, yeah, I just don't want to deal with it at the moment. It's really low in value and... Uh, yeah, I just don't have time for scrap steel today. Just electronics. Computers and stuff. 
there it's too nice a day out here at the moment to um, you know get into really hard work of scrap steel I don't need the money I don't need the the extra work I'll take the scrap steel in um, electronics yeah just electronics today so uh, looks like oh, that's a motor we'll take that yeah I'm just gonna do it nice and easy today oh here we go it's nice Oh wow, I want that, Specs, Minimate, Optronic Laboratory, some kind of scanner, oh grouse, um, how am I going to do this, I don't want to leave this behind, someone's come and cut the cord, man, that's not the sort of thing you cut the cords from. <laughs> oh, I'm having fun already. Nice little power boards. There's a couple more over there. But this, is, I love this sort of stuff. I'm going to have to check it out. Australian Broadcasting. Commission Federal Engineering Laboratory Wavelength Nanometers Wow Optical Radiation Measurement System Wow For radiation I'm going to have to do a bit of research on that Before I open it up But it Well it measures radiation Cool Well you don't expect something that weird some more circuit board I'll take that looks like uh, nothing there for me really uh, I'll take them and just oddball electricals I had someone that wanted oddball electricals, but I lost contact with him. I can't. Finding some interesting stuff. Oh yeah, just a bit of electricals and stuff just to play with, you know. Always a little bit of something. Goodies, eh? Oh yeah, just a not a whole lot. Just electrical wiring and stuff. Play around with. Oh, uh, just a tinkerer. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Try not to answer too many questions. <laughs> it looks like PC. Hey, PC, Dell. Well, there's my scrap metal for today. Well, it was a nice Dell. Still got the CPU and the motherboard. That's about it. <clears throat> oh, it's a bit of gold recovery stuff, oddball transformers, capacitors, 
I'm building up a whole heap of stuff like that for people. Wow, a radio, what was it? A radiation tester. That's as strange as you get from household rubbish anyway. Oh, well, and a PC that was only half there, but still, I really like getting at least half a PC um, at the start. Not that I'll probably get anything else, but you know how it is. I'd see another PC. Yay! It's interesting. PC. <laughs> How's that? Got some uh, oddball satellite receivers. Yay, Adele Optiplex dual core that's what I'm talking about still got the RAM stick in there CPU everything I oh, still got the hard drive in there slot card hey we got a complete PC but this thing this is really um, strange Our optical radiation measurement system how unusual is that to get um, in hard rubbish and it looks like it's all complete um, someone's cut the cord here but you know if it was something special I could always put a new cord in it we don't worry about that all right Well, with such a good start, I think I've got a good feeling that we're going to have a pretty good day. Well, a couple of DVDs set top boxes I can see the cord cutters have been here they obviously they don't want anything electrical other than just the cords so when I say cord cutters that's what I mean they don't they don't take anything they just drive around picking up cords all day um, obviously they'd probably make pretty good money but uh, it's just strange. I mean, I'll cut cords off things that are useless, but like that um, lab box, that would have been awesome if it still had the cord. I do appreciate my electronics, right? I just, uh, but like everyone else, I'm not interested in um, toasters or kettles or lamps your general household electricals fans just cut the cord you're not going to get any uh, what do we got here oh it's a projector wow 
it's got some nice circuitry it's sort of like resistors and stuff in there but yeah, it's just an old pro El Elmo projector it would have been a nice projector if it wasn't scrapped out oh, there's the power oh. some power boards oh, okay this is what I want I love this old vintage kind of meters wow some really strange items so far that's a nice old meter uh, there's a, a few guys I know really like this kind of stuff well so far fantastic can't get over this uh, radiation meter wow save it for um when we have a nuclear holocaust or something might as well get some cords make sure there's no laptop in there I think I've seen another PC PC Hello, is that okay? I take a couple of things. Thank you. Uh, maybe just a keyboard, maybe computer. TV may be a little bit too big for me. Computer, I take for part. Thank you. Oh. Beautiful, thank you, mate. You can have it. No worries. Compliment. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, no, but it's. The printer is working. It's just that it's a, it needs ink. I don't know. Yeah, you know, there's so many. Nobody wants them. Yeah, yeah, that's right. Unfortunately. A keyboard you can use. Yeah, keyboard, I can use. Ah, thank you. Thank you, sir. Okay. PC. It's a bit old school, it's got a floppy. Oh, wow, that's two and a half PCs already. I must be turning into the right street. Yeah, it's un unreal. It's it's like every second street I turn into, um, I'm stumbling into a PC. It's just, um, it's because it's good timing the um, people are putting it out now in the afternoon so I'm getting stuff that you know has just been put out and other scrappers just haven't got to yet I think it was aluminium. Ironie Ellie. Huh. I missed out here. They've already scrapped out these PCs. I don't want the new style DVDs. There's another one. Yeah. I think they scrapped them out themselves. Huh. 
power out. It's scrap time! Keep moving! Wow! Two and a half PCs and some good stuff already! Wow, this is going to be a pretty big day! Although it's in the afternoon I've probably only got an hour and a half of daylight but uh, yeah I'm just going to scoot around and see how we go looks like another scrapped out PC uh, vintage I oh, know uh, we've got all the good stuff there nice slot card and it looks like oh no it's a it's a nice ceramic but it's not a special one. Oh, one of these. But I'll take this. It's a nice vintage little um, motherboard. It's got a beautiful slot card in there. Old VGA slot card. All right. Hey, we've got our modem for the day. Scrapping just wouldn't be the same without picking up a modem. Nice heavy one. It'll have a good transform. Oh yeah, it's a Sony. Just to get the transformer out of it. Phones. Remotes, antenna, yeah it's amazing um, like as I said it's the afternoon and uh, I'm still picking up some good stuff but you know from the morning scrappers have come and so you can imagine how much stuff has been picked up over the whole day and then yesterday as well and um, even noticed uh, I was reading on Facebook people were going a few days ago this you know this area it's it's gonna all be picked up in the morning and it's gone so at least people are picking up some stuff I heard of uh, some good furniture being picked up um, yeah and uh, there was uh, one girl on Facebook she picked up uh, some good electricals uh, it's uh, non-stop so you know one person's trash is another person's treasure obviously <laughs> and you know and that's how it should be it should be circled around um, you know in a few years time some people will be throwing out what they picked up today you know um, and other people like scrappers and that well we'll just get some value whatever value we can
But tell you what, the serious cord cutters, they're really sharp. You know, they don't muck around. I'll get that little bit before they do. Here's something. It's a, yeah, I don't want them. It's, it's like a power saving thing. That looks nice. It's got cables and power supply in there. I'll take that and check it out. It's a little set top box. Printer as usual. But there's, yeah, there's stuff for everybody, you know. Yep, colourful PVC pipe, but it's got the caps on it. These are good for prepping, you know. You can stuff things in there and bury them. Whenever I see PVC piping with the caps, I always take them. They're really handy keeping things dry, airtight. <laughs> okay. I reckon I got about an hour of daylight. So let's keep looking. Just want to look here in case there's anything useful for the garage. You just never know. You just never know. Low grade Christmas lights. Ah, gosh. Yeah. Should have a nice solid board in this old phone. Bit of brass. Okay. Uh, it's only a flimsy one. If it was a solid construction, I would have taken it. Sony DVD, cord cutter, thanks cord cutter, hey. <laughs> CD, DVD, MP3, would have been, oh no it's only a Conia, I thought it was a Sony, uh, the cord cutter done the right thing, uh, I tell you if you um, kept, if you lived nearby this area and you kept coming, I think you do really, really well. Well, there's some PC doors, but no PC. Big printer, that's a shame. Right. Definitely no PC. And it's, you know, it's not a poor area, so you get some pretty good value stuff here. Good for resale too, especially good furniture and stuff here. 
oh well, Digitech audio video. I can see a little circuit board in there. No, oh, that's just a docking station. I don't bother with them. Hey, they didn't see that, did they? Laptop, HP. Not bad. We got a laptop. Pays to uh, look in the little nooks and crannies. Set-top box. It all adds up. Awesome. This is my kind of scrap. Just electronics and interesting things. Wherever that... What is it again? Optical radiation measure wow still excites me hi ah another scrapped out pc get some cords oh I didn't notice it's a nice Dell laptop oh that's a surprise nice Inspiron it's a Dell still complete beautiful did not expect it it was camouflaged. <laughs> I was looking straight at it, I just didn't, because it was black. It just looked like the top of whatever else was there. Just got to have a look. There we go, modem. Tripod, but it doesn't have the, the actual mount without it. It's no good. So, worth looking. Just another modem. Got to look in these boxes. You know, nine times out of ten, there's nothing. But sometimes you get gaming stuff. Just albums. Big old TV. Since I'm here, get a couple of cords. Zip it up so the paper doesn't all fall away. Okay. 
Okay. I'm nowhere near going to cover this area. In the time that I've got before it gets dark. Someone scrapped out a PC. Printers. Never a shortage of printers. Uh, I had to look, but I shouldn't have went walked so far. I'm busting for a pee. Like I got to have one of my emergency in-house peas. My special cup. One battery. Ugh. Cash. PC. There you go. Awesome. Nice. Another old school PC. Floppy. Uh, my battery went flat just as I was getting excited. Nice PC that was. I'm happy. I actually turned into this street 20 minutes ago. So, just goes to show that it doesn't matter if you double up in areas because people are putting out stuff all the time. Just want to look at these little drums. Oh yeah. Nice. Good gold recovery storage. Nice. Bromo Clomo. I'll take him. <laughs> Cooking show. Yeah, they're the perfect size and they've got screw top lids. Um, they're a little bit smaller than the other little blue ones that I've got. So it just means that I can um, put smaller things that are a little bit heavier, like CPUs. Power supply unit. Pretty heavy, got a lead acid battery inside. What's that? Uh, set top box. Oh, HD DVD. Just what we're looking for. Get a bonus 
hard drive, you know. Awesome. HD. They're the ones to look out for. Wow, nice cable. Hello. Antec PC. You beauty. How's that for a nice, I remember these uh, towers. How's that? PC, complete. Who wants scrap steel when you can get good stuff? Well, this has been um, busted up by the owner. Not as good as the Antec. But I'll take it. It's getting late. It's starting to get dark. Okay. Certainly a lot of cable here. Um. Wow. Whole box. Cell phone. Get some gold recovery out of the back of that. Nice. Look at all that cable. Wow. I reckon it's going to be more good stuff. Wow, a whole box of cable. And good stuff. <clears throat> Looks like gaming stuff. Gaming cable. Awesome. But I love this Antec. Um, I, I'm not 100% sure. It's definitely got a motherboard and stuff. I'm pretty sure it's a PC. Oh, check it is. <laughs> Scrapped out. Oh, it's a nice. Telstra Wi Fi box. Be a good board in there. I reckon there's all kinds of things here. Yeah. 
my eyes aren't scanning everything. So it's easy when you're looking in the uh, video. Even when I'm editing, I'll see heaps of things that I missed. Table. That's a nice wire. Yeah, so people will say, oh, you missed this, you missed that. <laughs> and I'll say, yeah, I know now because I can see it when I'm editing it, but... Too late. Oh, Mandela. Oh, these are all taps. Brass taps. Oh. I knew there was more stuff. Check this out. I know the brand Mandela Taps. Look at that. Brand new brass tap fittings. They're not cheap. Each box, they're about 60, 80 bucks a box. So I'll definitely keep on to them. I'm, I'm sure I'm missing something. <laughs> Quick at hat. Yell it out. Oh, there's more. Wow. Beautiful. What are these? Ah. Oh. Power points. Wow, look at that. All brass. Handles. I'm going to take that whole thing. Yeah, good stuff. Oh. Hey, I reckon I'm going to need this too. A tow bar hitch. Wow. It's just one of those piles that you don't want to walk away from. Oh dear. There's something else. I just got a feeling it's not letting me walk away. What is it? Oh, that must be it. All right. That was fantastic. Wow, all these brass. Cross handle basin set. Look at that. In box. Yep, and they're they're definitely in there. Wow. I won't get into them now. I'll make a mess of them. Yeah. And a whole box of um, cable and game controls. 
What a shame, it's winter time and we don't get much sunlight. In this area, I could go four hours in this area. I still haven't covered nowhere near the whole area, but traditionally it's a good area. Uh, here's a watch, Amigo. It's actually got gold. This is actually a gold watch, believe it or not. Might be able to take it to the pawn shop. Um, this doesn't look gold, but I'll take it, just have a look at it. Oh, that's a nice watch. Is that... Uh, actually, that's... that's a nice, I'll take that. Bet you didn't expect me to pick up take watches. It's a coin. Now that is strange. I mean, who throws that out? Nice watches. It's a. It's actually got. It's actually gold. It's silver and, of course, you know whatever it is. But I can see it's got gold around the edges. Wow! It's getting stranger as I go. And you just don't know with watches, I mean, you've got to look them up, but you can get some models that are really collectible, you know, and I doubt it will be, but it's still fun in the, uh, in trying to, you know, find out. Ah, they were, um, quite amazing piles or or that one with all the cable I can't wait to go through that box take out all the uh, gaming consoles and see what other plugs because I'm always looking for Nintendo plugs PlayStation plugs anything so yeah I just wish today didn't end because there's just uh, so many streets to go oh man and oh, scrappers have been having a field day yeah. some piles you can just tell it's all just rubbish and other piles you know you only need a couple of little um, indications that there's something there like a few cables sticking out of a box you know once there's something like that then you know that cord cutters haven't been through and there's a pretty good chance that um, you're going to get everything that they threw away in that box and you know if there's cables then there's always you know modems and something but uh I'm just weaving through random streets. You know, this uh, kind of scrapping really needs two people. One person to navigate and quickly run out, cut a cord, um, pick up a small electrical item, and one person to drive. And that would be perfect, you know. It's just that I don't know anyone that um, is uh, interested, you know, that wants to uh, spend their day going out and looking for scrap. 
But how's this? It's only a, an Amiga. Maybe you can look it up. Amiga Quartz CAL 1337. Yeah, it looks like um, the watch is worn. The band is worn. It might have been a gold-plated band, but I can definitely see the dial is gold and those things and around the edges here. That's all gold. So I don't think it's a really expensive watch. It's only an Amiga, but you know, there have been some expensive Amigas, but it might just be one that people like. And the other one, what is it? it says Samsung. It's just a really unusual watch. I kind of like it. Oh yeah. It's a nice one. How am I going with PCs, eh? What a PC day. Wow. Not very neat and tidy today. Wow. Got a massive hard drive, uh, video card in there, gigabit, gigabyte one. Still got RAM, hard drive, everything's there. I don't know why people open up. Oh, that's cool. Cords, phone. Wow. Wow. All right. Bags of it. Cable. Oh, wow. Oh. Christmas lights. Modem. Wow. How am I going with cable? I'll take the phone. Look at a couple more piles and I'll, I think I'll head back now before it gets too dark. I'm about 45 minutes away from home and uh, I think I already looked at that pile. Yeah, I've done great. It's been a, a good little uh, street scraper run, can't complain. Perfect. Set top boxes, modem, satellite box. Wow, well, that's a nice little little package. Fantastic.
Uh, better not open that door. So we've got a Foxtel satellite box, modem, set-top box, and a, uh, another Foxtel satellite box with coax. <laughs> All right. Uh, just some hose. But we've got a power supply with cord. So something. Oh, good one. <laughs> Oh yeah, that's yeah. I just scrap them out for the motherboards and scrap and that. Are you a YouTube video? This is YouTube. I think I might have actually come across your channel. Uh, E-Way Spin. Yeah, I think I've seen that. So good luck to you. Thanks, man. And you're now famous. Yep. <laughs> awesome. <laughs> there was another. There was a PC case, and um. Kid on the skateboard, he was just cruising along the footpath. He's grabbed the case, and I go, Oh, good on you, man. <laughs> and he goes, Oh, it's just empty. I said, That's all right, I don't mind. Oh. It was just funny the way he was um, on his skateboard, and he just cruised past in one go and just grabbed. I grabbed the PC, I thought it was a complete PC, I thought, oh, he's, what a, what a pickup. And uh, he just wanted the uh, tower. Oh, I wouldn't have taken a tower anyway. Wow, I'm going to come back. Haha. <laughs> Oh, I'm so disappointed that it's getting late. There goes another PC. <laughs> this area is traditionally really good for PCs and stuff. I've always had good, good luck in this area. That'll do me. Ah, fantastic. What's that? Must be got that really nice tower too. Um, one, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, I reckon there's 10 PCs. I'm not sure. I'll have to count them when I'm editing the video. Wow. Now, okay. Now, I suppose I'll, I'll try and explain this again as far as scrap steel is concerned, right? Now, you've got to keep in mind that I'm far away from home, but if I was picking up scrap steel, I would have went ages ago, right? Even though my van's not full um, and I could have put a little bit in there, really, if I started on scrap steel, I would have left probably five PCs ago, you know? And all I would have done with that scrap steel is unload it and then pack it back into the van and took it to the scrapyard and probably got 40 bucks. Just work and no fun. And I've took, I've taken in um, a lot of scrap metal last week, as you saw, nearly a thousand dollars plus a lot of circuit boards um, there's over a couple thousand dollars there so I've cashed up a little bit and I'm not looking for uh, a few bucks you know at the moment and I've been working so hard scrapping stuff out I can't keep up with the stuff that I've got at home as it is so uh, but yeah, so you know, I've probably got 10 PCs nearly there, 
um, at least two laptops that nuclear finger whatever that was uh, a lot of set top boxes and DVDs you know just really cool stuff and you know this is what I'm really about I, I, I like to go back unload the van and scrap stuff out rather than just scrap metal you know it's really not my thing I do it because well I try and show other people to do, uh, how to do it you know mostly for those people that are you know struggling you know can you use a little bit extra money and uh, you know they need quick cash well that's why I do it just to show that hey you know you can come out here and you can make quick cash if that's something that you want to do but mostly it's e-waste although I'm just trying to back in here I might get some of these little buckets if they've got lids yep they've got lids so look at the size of this house I reckon the strongest man in the world lives there so I'll take four buckets four lids four buckets four lids four actually I, I like these buckets because they're clean they smell nice they've just had um But I've just got to make sure, two, four, six. I won't take a spare lid, because it'll just be more mess. <laughs> but how's how many buckets? 100% low carb protein. Must be the strongest man in the world living there. Going through so many, it's not cheap either. I reckon, um, yeah, I better go. I can't even see cords in piles anymore. <laughs> oh well. I've got to get my map out and see where I am at. Which way to go home, because, uh, I mean, by the time I get home, it's going to be pitch black, so I'm not going to be able to uh, empty the van out till tomorrow to have a look at all the goodies that I got. <laughs> 